Okay, so just a quick video in regards to this injector valve clearance adjustment job. So obviously what you do, you need to clean up all the parts and components. That's what we've been doing. It's quite time consuming actually, a couple of hours cleaning parts on this one. Um, this timing cover might look a bit grubby actually, but it was absolutely putrid and given it a good scrub with a number of different types of degrees and we'll give it a bit more of a wipe with a rag, but it's pretty good. Um, that timing belt gear at the top that goes on the camshaft, don't lose that little keyway. And the bolt, new timing belt, tensioner and idler. Whatever you do, don't forget that washer that goes underneath. That's where it goes, right? On the bottom underneath there. Do not forget that. I've heard of someone that forgot it, they had problems. This backing plate was covered in oil and grease leaking everywhere, both sides, you know, clean up all the bolts, got a new cam seal ready to go in. Still got to sort this out, uh, just waiting on lifters. And here's all the old parts, you know, whatever. Trash, there's a whole heap of silicon on that gasket, so what a mess, we had to spend a lot of time. Uh, so we've got the return line all ready to go with new washers, the bolts are clean, we just got to put some oil on those before we install that and the clamps and that. This cover was filthy, so I'll just move this out of the way. Bring this cover over. Now, this was filthy inside and out and covered in silicon and whatever. You can see the evidence that the people have been in there. You can see the scratch marks on the valve cover where they've bent the pipes. You know, you can see it on all of them, right? Or maybe not so much there, a little bit. But number uh, two, particularly three and four, those marks. Now, what I'm trying to say here is, um, you need to clean it up properly so you can inspect it for cracks. Now, I'll just go through the places where they cut. Usually at the front of the cover here at this corner. Pretty well across here or something like that. This one is okay. Okay, the other place they crack is kind of across this back corner, basically the opposite way. Right now. You can see it, right, because it's been leaking oil for years. And um, we've washed the bugger out of it, and you can see the oil stain. The oil stain is your telltale sign of cracks before you even have to look harder. You can see the crack is, I'm not going to say too much. Obviously, people over-tightening down the back corners, or tightening them down, or a combination of tightening them down before they've done up the ones that go along the side, you know. Gently work your way up and down. Now, there was quite a lot of oil on this cover. So it has got some other damage that I spotted as well, I want to show you that. But like I said, the oil stain is the telltale sign, okay? So, you see the oil, this has been degraded, you can see how dry it is, mate. it's been, you know, clean, dried to buggery. And look, you got oil there, so we're going to see a crack. It's hard for you to see because of the oil there, but if I hold this thing still for you for a minute, and you're probably going, hold the damn bloody camera still, well, here we go, right? We're there now, there's your still moment. In, so all the way into the cover and from outside, you can see that crack goes all the way through. Now how do you fix, how do you deal with these cracks? Now there's two different ways to deal with it. You can buy a new valve cover, which is kind of good because you get a new cover that these dowels here, these crush tubes at the side there where the bolts go through, they haven't been crushed and damaged, so they're actually going to tighten down to the correct height. Um, you get new seals fitted into the top of the cover so you don't have to replace them. Not that we normally do anyway, but on the older ones that have been more molested, well, you know what, it's good to have a new seal even though you don't need it. I'm not sure, I think you get the valve cover gasket as well. Um, so you can replace the cover, I think it's about 300 bucks thereabouts, just depends, you know, they change prices around, so never hold me to it because prices go up and down, sometimes they're double and then they're half. About 300 bucks. Um, the other thing you can do is you can't you could actually clean that up that oil off and just put a smear of that you know gray max whatever you could hide the problem okay it will work it will definitely if it's clean and dry it will stick and seal it and whatever you can do that there a little bit on the inside and put it well, you maybe just do the inside part let that dry and then when you put the gasket in directly before you're putting it on put a little bit of silicon gray max rtv you know what i'm talking about in underneath that where that gasket would sit normally it'd be bone dry other than the four prescribed places on the front one, two, and where the other half moon is in front of the camshaft. The other thing you can do, same deal on the outside, you can uh, put a, you could put a smear, of, you know, look, you might want to even get black or whatever. Who cares about the colours? On the Prado, there's a cover over the cover and the Hilux owners, well, they don't care anyway. I'm just joking. No, probably serious, actually. Um, 
not as fast. A lot of the Hilux is not as fast about what they look like, more of a work unit, hardcore off-road or whatever, where the Prado is more of a luxury vehicle. Um, but look, as they're older, we see more of these problems. So there's a cheap way out of it. You can smear the Grey Max over that, let it dry, put it on later. I'm about to call the client, see if he wants to spend another 300 bucks or whether we go the um, cheap shortcut because we can make it work. So anyway, guys, what do we got here? I'll tell you what, you know, we'll end that video and we'll start with another one. So all the parts are just cleaned up, ready to go back together. All right, guys, hope that's helped. See ya.